Hello, you've been seeing us every week in your Saturday Nation Pullout magazine. This will be our new home. This show is here to give you tips and information on how to make a fortune out of farming. When we say let's get our hands dirty on this show, we mean it in the literal sense. This is Seeds of Gold. Good morning. It's a chilly morning in Nairobi right now. It's around 5.30 a.m. I am here at Tea Room ready to meet Mr. George Moturi, a strawberry farmer all the way from Nyeri. He's always in Nairobi at around 6 a.m. in the morning. I am going to meet him and then he's going to take us to all the places he needs to go. And finally, we are going to end up in his farm in Nyeri. Come with us in the Seas of Gold. And here's my main man, Mr. Muturi, fresh from Karatina. In this hustle and bustle, some orders are dispatched right here. Time is of the essence, and without much further ado, we head out to make deliveries in other parts of Nairobi. So, this is a place where you bring deliveries every, day. every single every day. day. Yeah, yeah, every yeah, single yeah. morning. Yeah. So, that means uh, the rate at which the strawberries are selling, at least here in Nairobi, is very high. Yeah. Ah. First stop, Zucchini Green Grocers. Packing and unpacking. Different orders, different customers. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Exact. Nice. Well, this one does not require a lot of them. Okay. Ten are enough for them. Twenty to this one. Okay. And now, now this, this one ones for are the inside. ones that are supposed to be left here. Yeah. They taste nice. Ah, they smell nice, huh? <laughs> Let's they go deliver nice. some strawberries, huh? <laughs> So this is where we put oh, yeah. them. We pack them here. Okay. All right. Uh... Mm -hmm. That's it. Muturi's fresh produce. Mm. From the farm to the shelves. But before they go to these shelves, they had a journey. We are going to see that journey. Second stop is a go down on Waiyaki Way. Here they specialize in buying farm produce directly from farmers in wholesale. We have come here with Muturi where he's uh, delivered his strawberries. Yeah. Now tell us a bit uh, about Muturi. How, how, how long have you, has he been delivering strawberries here? Okay, uh, since we started this company, okay. he's been a consistent supplier. Now, uh, I see that you have more than just strawberries. You have some other produce that farmers are delivering to this place. So where do you supply to? We normally supply to Tuskies. Tuskies supermarket. Yeah. All right, okay. So what we're telling farmers is that there is a huge market mm -hmm. for their produce, regardless of the kind of produce they have. Yeah. And uh, they don't need to take them to the supermarkets themselves. Yeah. They can bring them to you yeah, yeah. and you make the supplies. Yeah, they have to bring here mm -hmm. so that we can sort them out uh -huh. and check it to get the best quality. So you all had it for yourselves. Farmers, all you out there with green thumbs. Muturi is just one of the few who has found a place where he can bring his produce. That means you can all find a place to sell your produce. Farmers, these are the seeds of gold, I tell you. Thank you very much, Al. <laughs> Onwards and outwards, on to the last delivery of the day at Yaya Center. Hi, Nancy. Hello, Yako. Mimi ni Martin. I'm Justine. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you, Justine. Yeah. Nakuja na mzee Muturi hapa. Muturi na rafiki siku mingi. Almost 10 years now. You have been supplying this yeah. store for yeah. 10 yeah. years? More than 10 More than yeah. 10 even. Interesting. Yeah. How much, for example, do you sell well, this banner for? For me, here? I sell it at 95 shillings per packet. <laughs> the best thing with these strawberries, mm -hmm. they are organic, so mm -hmm. they keep long. There before we used to have a shortage, but at the moment, mm -hmm. and our farmers have tried to beat it because we it used to get yeah. to a time where we had to yeah. import strawberries at times. Okay. So how many banners does Muturi deliver? Minimum 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 to 30. 20 to 30. So that's 20 probably multiply by seven days a week, yeah. so that's 140, yeah. and you sell each at? 95 shillings. 95 shillings. Yeah. Let's say 13,000, yes, approximately 13,000. 13, so that is 13,000 per week. So you make your profit, yeah. he makes his profit. Yeah. Wow, this is super business. Farmers out there, whatever ideas you have on farming about strawberry, probably you don't have the right idea about it. 
this is a lucrative business, approximately 13,000 for the shop, from where they give Muturi his cut, where he's also made a very, a very good profit, of course, for him to be coming here every single day, Monday to Monday. Wow. <laughs> I think I want to be a farmer as well, because mm -hmm. clearly mathematics is not my forte. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Too. Pleasure <laughs> Thank meeting you. Very me. much. Pleasure Bye. meeting you. Bye. Okay, so Bye. to the shelves they go. Yes. All right. Thank so, you. Moturi, we are done with deliveries for the day. Yes. Now we need to make our way to yeah. your farm, yeah. so that you can show us how the strawberries before they get here, yeah. how they. Yeah. Let us with over five deliveries done in just three hours, we are back on the road. This time, we are headed to Karatina to see where the journey of Mr. Muturi's strawberries began. Finally, uh, to Mefika. Uh, so this is your farm. This is my farm. What time did you leave here so that you could in get to Nairobi at uh, 5.36? Uh, uh, 3.30. 3.30? Ah, so these are the strawberries. Yeah, these are strawberries. Okay. So yeah. what, for example, what type of strawberries are these? They are called dairy natural. Okay. This, this one we have as dairy. Okay. Yeah. When did you plant this? November. November last year? November last year, yeah. Okay. November, November so last year. December, January, February, March, yeah. April, yeah. May. Yeah. Right, six months. So how many times have you harvested so far? From February. Yeah. February in the Olianza, yeah. the Olianza yeah. Kuvuna, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I see flowers. Okay, to be honest, I've never seen mm. strawberry, a strawberry plant before. Yeah. So it has flowers. Is yeah. that where the fruits come yeah, from? Come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I see you have uh, plucked out some of this. So what, yeah. what is this you're, you're doing here? Now I, I'm, I'm plucking this uh -huh. so that they can have enough nini, fruits. Ah, okay. Easy, easy. Zilo, 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 yeah. Zilo, kando, kando, tu, yeah. Zime, zime lala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After plucking them, uh -huh. they will produce some flowers, mm -hmm. add fruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, okay. If okay. it okay. remains like this, mm -hmm. without being plucked, uh -huh. it cannot... Nini. I was told I'm nini. Mazao mzuri. Mazao mzuri. Yeah. Yeah. And that is what we want to mm. gain. Okay, okay. Now, I see you having uh, systems of irrigation. You have... Uh, water. Uh, uh, I, I read somewhere that uh, a lot of water is not good for strawberries. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is true. A lot of water. Yeah, yeah. Even this one uh, being destroyed by water. You know, it was raining heavily. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, it's, now you can control water mm -hmm. the moment you want to water it. I, I remember when we were at uh, Yaya, mm. uh, the lady said that you had been delivering strawberries to them for at least over 10 years. Yeah. But yourself, as Muturi, other uh, than the deliveries, uh, umefanya hii kazi your strawberries for how long? More than 15 years now. How much space is this? Now this one is two acres. Two the acres? Yeah, up to there, down. Up to the fence, two yeah. acres, two, two acres, acres of land. Yeah. Right, so, but, uh, well, other than uh, the fact that uh, you also have the big space, mm -hmm. uh, so most, most farmers I see, you know, prefer maybe greenhouses to mm, greenhouse. open air natural. Why did you decide this? Uh, even greenhouses are better, mm -hmm. but uh, they, you know, they cost a lot of money. They are a bit expensive. Yeah. <laughs> they are a bit expensive. <laughs> yeah, true. But, true. but even the, this local, the one who knows the local strawberry, you call them locals. Mm -hmm. uh, they like them because mm -hmm. they are so sweet. Mm -hmm. You cannot compare with the, the one of greenhouse. Is there any that I can take and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and try and test? Test this one. No, it's good. Uh, it's we hear. One. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just hearing about the sweetness. Yeah. Let me taste that taste one. The sweetness. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. I can just eat it like this. Yeah, it yeah, it's very okay. Safe. It's okay. Yeah, it's very, very safe. safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Uh. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Wow. It's not a rumor. These are very sweet. Yeah, These are very sweet, sweet. muturi. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. As much as to mekuja kwa shamba, mm. sisi kwa ni mechuna moja peke yake. Mm. But ara mini chune kathandi yo ni nisikie hey. vile unasikianga, eh? Eh, hey. <laughs> hey. apo, apo kunazo. Eh, hey, kunazo. Aha. Uh -huh. Ay, ay, ay. Now, let me, let me ask you. Hey. Mimi, for example, ningependa kuanzisha hii biyashara ya, hey. ya strawberry. Hey. So, ni nini ni nahitaji? 
Kwanza ni lazima uwe na shamba. Eh eh shamba ni lazima iwe. Alafu sasa mimea. Eh na mimea mimi nakuwa na migi. Eh na kuuzia. Daily calendar yako, your daily schedule. Kila kawaida mimi naamka saa 8 na nusu, ni kuamka si ni kuoga. Sasa ni kuelekea Nairobi. Kupeleka the one which I've already prepared the previous night. The previous day. Aya na preka na robi mm-hmm. alafu nikisha toka na robi sasa kama sasa kama saa hii unaona iko kwa shaba yes. sasa ni prepare the next ya yeah, kesho sasa for tomorrow for tomorrow uh-huh. yeah so that is you day in day, 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 day out. out i'll see you after the break Chaba yote niko na pada boga. Yote. You know, it, yeah, it <laughs> came to a time. Okay. When a cabbage mm-hmm. you sell it at 5 bob. Ha? Huh? Okay. 5 bob. And the problem with cabbage when you cut it when it is ready you must sell it. Kwa sababu ita itaribika. Ita yeah, it, it, yeah. it is very shabo. Yes. Sasa ukikata mm-hmm. kama ni shilingi 5 unaenda hasara. Wow, okay. Ah, sasa ndio niigrie mambo ya strawberry. Mm-hmm. Niliona nilikuwa naenda hasara sana. Mm-hmm. Nikilima inaiswa mishiri. Ulikuwa ukizi ukiziuza locally ama pia unapeleka na usia tu hapa kwa shamba. Uh, uh, just selling uh, at the shamba. Okay. Sasa ndio nika shift, nikaona wacha nipate jaribu strawberry. Sasa mm-hmm. kujaribu strawberry mm-hmm. ndio niliona ni kitu ya maana sana. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu this one mm-hmm. you have the whole year. It does not have any season. Is there a point where the 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 supply of the strawberries is more than the demand? Ama demand na kuanga always high. The demand is always high. Other strawberry ya ku export kuna hapa. They yeah. just import from outside to here. There is none that comes from here to go ah, out. They are this. Sina tokaga huko nje zinakuja hapa. Na I'm angry. That is a gap that we need mm. to fill. Kila siku una una harvest hapa unapeleka. Eh. Now, hiyo stock yenye unapeleka yote inakuwa ya hii shamba yako. Ah, ah sasa niko na wateja wengine wanampanda hata nawapatia hata mimea. Ah. Wanapanda wana Okay. wananiuzia. Okay. Sasa wananiletea, wananiuzia nami napeleka na Robi. Mm. Una una make approximately how much? Eh, hey, a minimum every day I make a minimum of 3000 to 5000 minimum. Yeah. 3000. Wait. So that is more than 100 more than 100000 in a month. So in a year it's more Why are we in Nairobi? We need to come to Nyeri and do this business. For example, expenses zako tukisema zikienda sana. Una una spend na vitu kama nini? Island, you know, of course transport, labor, una labor, uh, una pesticides. Always I must spend in fair a mm-hmm. thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kwenda hadi Nairobi na kurudi. Yeah, kwenda baka Nairobi na uh-huh. kurudi. Uh-huh. A thousand. Then uh-huh. I have some other cashoro bras. Uh-huh. I almost spend 15 to 2000 a day. 1500 yeah. to 2000. Yeah. So from the from the average Profit I get, yeah. From the average of uh, 3000 3000 up to 4000 so yeah. that's at least pesa yako ya mfuko after umefanya kila kitu unaweza pata ni 1 2000 2000 to 3 to 3000. Yeah. 2 to 3. Hey, sasa hizi zenye hizi um wakati unataka kujaza stock ya zile vitu unapeleka ya yeah, yeah, the strawberries that unapeleka Nairobi how much uh, at how much do you buy them from the other farmers locally locally yes at the moment we are buying you, you see this container uh-huh. is 3 kg okay now we are buying at 200 shilling for 3 kgs 3 kg to all the farmers out there uh, the strawberry <coughs> business is quite a lucrative business in Kenya As you've heard from Muturi himself, himself mm. the supply has not yet been able to hit the demand yeah. of the strawberries. Strawberries have been seen in yogurts, in uh, in cakes, in Jam. scents, in yeah. scents for ladies' lotions because mm. the natural scent mm. I, I can actually smell 
the, the, the natural scent from the strawberry, that, mm. that cannot be artificially manufactured. Mm. It needs that strawberry sweetness itself it, mm. in, in, in jams. Mm. Now, how has this strawberry business changed your life? Hey, this one, you know, I have educated my children up to university level and I don't need any help from and, anybody. And how many children do you have? I have four children. Four children? Yeah. All to the university One level. is finishing university. I have a lady who is now going to college. Uh -huh. She has finished form four. She is, she is going to college. Uh -huh. I have another one in form three. And uh -huh. they all know and they are all aware that this is what has fed them. Yeah. A word of advice from you, uh -huh. Muturi, uh -huh. to all the young Kenyans out there. Uh -huh. Because these really are seeds of gold. Mm. These really are. What, what would be your advice to them? You know, we give one as a mati akuda kas. Sasa gutu akitaka kujua mbaya ya strawberry. Aja hapa kwa gu kwa shamba. Aja aone aone vile na fanya. And how it is helping me. Uh -huh. eh. I am very excited that Dr. Walukau, a professor from Egerton University, could join us today. He specializes in strawberry farming and will be talking about different factors to think about as a strawberry farmer. Dr. Yes. Thank you very much. I want us to just take a walk around this farm and uh, you'll give us a little bit more information you know from the academic also perspective of it there are over 40 varieties of strawberries the most common are chandler pajero selva manhattan fun and ico chandler is most popular for export as it has big robust berries followed by pajero and selva moturi grows the ever-bearing type of strawberries on his farm. Well, I'm a tourist. Yeah. This e, e variety is a day neutral. Mm. But I was told that the sauce was made from the garden. Oh, they were imported from the Netherlands. Yes. Yeah, there was a uh, Mzungu who was f farming this for export. Yeah, he brought these seedlings. So how many did you start with, for example? 3,000 plants. And how was the first harvest? They were good. Uh -huh. you know, the, sh the garden was fudging, mm -hmm. so they were producing very well. W what can you tell us about first planting of the strawberry on a particular piece of land and later plantings? Yeah, the virgin soil, if you don't have problems from the forest roots, mm -hmm. uh, normally they have a lot of bacteria, mm -hmm. fungi in the forest roots. Mm -hmm. If you are able to control the, those bacteria and fungi, mm -hmm. you can have an excellent crop. Mm -hmm. Because virgin land is very rich in organic matter. Yes. Oh. And the strawberry do very well. In, in fact, the recommendation is normally to plant them in soils which have very good organic matter content. Oh, fortunately or unfortunately, we won't all have a, a Dutch <laughs> a Dutch farmer who's going to come and, uh, and uh, do research and then decide to to you know, give out to farmers or sell to farmers. So where, where or which is the best way for a new beginning farmer in this strawberry business? Is it the seeds, is it the splits and from where? Uh, splits are best for growing strawberry mm -hmm. because they're easy to handle. Okay. They also establish very quickly mm -hmm. compared with the seeds. Okay. There are problems with the seeds that we may not go into, but uh, uh, once you're interested in uh, growing strawberry, there are mm -hmm. many uh, sources of information you can go to. You mm -hmm. can ask us at the Egerton University, mm -hmm. the Department of uh, Crops, Horticulture and Soil Science. Mm -hmm. We can provide you with information where to buy okay. uh, planting materials. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to some of our research stations, Carro mm -hmm. uh, in Thika. Mm -hmm. So, um, Dr. Ari, from a quick assessment of, uh, of this farm, uh, probably we can go into, in particular, in terms of pests and diseases. What are some of the pests and diseases that you have seen that have plagued this, this small piece of land? Uh, fortunately, uh, Maturi has very few problems. Mm -hmm. And the only problem I can see is what you call leaf spots. Okay. It's a bacterial disease. Mm -hmm. Normally, uh, uh, this is a symptom normally. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, recovers... Uh, begins with older leaves. If you mm -hmm. notice, most of yeah. these are older leaves. Okay. And, but it recovers mm -hmm. as you lose the older leaves. Mm -hmm. So this is the only problem I see here. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, motori doesn't have too many problems. Mm -hmm. But there are other problems. 
uh, I don't know how long he has uh, worked this land, mm. but the other problems uh, related to disease. Which are the most common ones? The most common will be normally diseases of the fruit. Mm -hmm. We call them, the, the fruit and the flower, we call it gray mold. Mm -hmm. Gray mold is a uh, fungal, mm -hmm. uh, affects this, uh, the fruit. Mm -hmm. Uh, from the farm, mm -hmm. beginning even with the flower, so the flowers, yeah. okay. and into the fruit, and even into post-harvest. Mm -hmm. This is one very common problem. Mm -hmm. There's also what we call Fusarium wilt, mm -hmm. which is not here. Mm -hmm. It's a wilt mm -hmm. uh, uh, that begins with the young leaves and then spreads uh, very rapidly to older leaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the farm is uh, badly uh, infected mm -hmm. or contaminated, mm -hmm. then it can spread to the whole farm. Mm -hmm. But luckily, the Maturi doesn't have that problem uh, here. Don't know, but okay. Okay. There's also what you call Vaticillium wilt. Mm -hmm. It's also fungal. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be uh, quite a problem, mm -hmm. um, particularly in soils which are rich mm -hmm. in, uh, in in organic matter, particularly if they are originally from forested mm -hmm. or what you call virgin land. Mm -hmm. If the roots are not taken care of, Mm -hmm. Before establishing the planting. Okay. Yes. Uh, one, one of also one of the things that uh, I've heard Moturi just complaining about has been water. That his piece of land has sections that are waterlogged. What effect has it have? Has it had rather to to your crops? Mm, yeah. You know when there is uh, the place is waterlogged, mm -hmm. they cannot develop root. Mm -hmm. So they are they stay stagnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To help Moturi. Probably he should consider growing the plants on raised beds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, raised beds. Yes. Or oh, I depend my bench on yes. raised beds. You yeah. see, you, you prepare beds mm -hmm. <coughs> which are about 15 to 30 centimeters above uh, ground. High. That yeah. will lower the water table. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. So that the roots uh, take in water by capillarity mm -hmm. instead of sitting in water directly. Mm, true. This will. Uh, alleviate that problem very, very uh, quickly. So we've already planted our strawberries. Of course, we can't just plant them and, uh, you know, leave them just like that. You know, they, they, are, they are steps that need to be taken to ensure that the plant grows well and gives us maximum yield. So what, what are some of the care measures that needed to be, or what has Moturi what have you been doing? Nini umeku kifanya? And uh, probably uh, Dr. can even give us more tips on what would need to be done. Weeding, mm -hmm. spraying some fungal diseases, fungal nini? Fungicides. Fungicides yeah. and foria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's for, uh, that's fertilizer. Yeah. That's fertilizer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some, uh, some, these are some good tips, uh, yeah. Dr. Mm -hmm. What more can, can we add? Strawberry plants need to receive uh, a good soil. Yes. Uh, if you have problems with the disease, bacteria or fungal, uh, you can either fumigate, mm -hmm. uh, which could be expensive for maturity. Okay. But there's also a procedure we call uh, solarization. Mm -hmm. Well, after you have prepared your beds, mm -hmm. you cover with uh, clear plastic. Okay. So the sun's rays mm -hmm. uh, enter the plastic, uh, but they are not allowed to come up mm -hmm. out of the plastic. Okay. So they create what we call in hot culture a greenhouse effect. Mm -hmm. So the soil is heated. Uh -huh. In the process, that will clear the, the, the bacteria spores, the fungal spores, the nematodes okay. Okay. in there. Okay. And then when you come to plant, you begin on a clean uh, bed. Mm -hmm. That will give the plants a head start. Uh -huh. uh, so that's one aspect. The other aspect of care is the nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, strawberry require uh, nitrogen mm -hmm. in very large quantities. Mm -hmm to give you these kind of leaves. Some, the big, the, some yes, are big, some are the small. Big, robust oh. leaves, yeah. because they translate into the berry. The big ones. Yes, the big berries. Yes. Well, the small leaves will give you a small yeah. berry equally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so nitrogen is very important. Mm -hmm. Phosphorus, mm -hmm. uh, uh, extremely important for root development, root mm -hmm. formation, mm -hmm. and is part of also the fruit, the mm -hmm. carbohydrate, mm -hmm. and the sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, 
there is a potassium, mm -hmm. uh, very important again for sugar translocation, okay. for the sweetness, okay. for the hardiness, okay. for the disease resistance. Mm -hmm. So those are uh, basic, uh, what you call macronutrients, mm -hmm. which are uh, required by the strawberry plant. Mm -hmm. But they, you, you could also require to put uh, what you call micronutrients, mm -hmm. the elements which are required in small quantities. Mm -hmm. uh, one uh, very important one is called boron. Mm -hmm. Boron is associated with the color, the intensity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, for these flowers to attract bees mm -hmm. and to give over a, a good scent which will attract the bees, the bees yeah. boron is very critical. Mm -hmm. If uh, problem Maturi notices that his fruits are getting smaller, that could be one problem. Perhaps they are not getting sufficient pollination. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the number of those small seeds we saw earlier mm -hmm. also translate into the size. The, the, the higher the number of those little seeds, mm -hmm. which we call pistils, mm -hmm. you, you can see them at this stage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we call those pistils. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the higher the number, mm -hmm. and if they are all fertilized, mm -hmm. the bigger you are, Fruit. 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 So we encourage that uh, Maturi probably could do um, a soil test, a soil analysis, and mm -hmm. is given uh, uh, what his farm has already mm -hmm. before. Uh, in fact, when we teach, we encourage growers first to do a soil test, mm -hmm. even before you do the planting. Mm -hmm. No pollination takes place. No fruit. No fruit. Completely. No fruit. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. So it's good to plant close to where you have bees. Where you have bees, <laughs> it's very important. Mm. Fortunately, in, here in Maturi we, have, we have a lot of bees Yes, here. yeah. 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 I'm, so I'm happy many. with the, uh, it has not been uh, badly done, mm. uh, damaged. I'll see you after the break. Mulching is also very critical yeah, for many reasons. One, mm -hmm. uh, you reduce on weeding mm -hmm. um, um, cycles. Mm -hmm. uh, two, you reduce on water mm -hmm. use mm -hmm. because you retain water, you conserve water. Uh, three, your mulch, particularly if it's organic, mm -hmm. will give you a lot of organic matter. Mm -hmm. And I've said already that organic matter is also very essential for mm -hmm. these plants. Mm -hmm. And uh, four, the mulch will reduce on uh, fruit contamination mm. by, by the soil. Yeah, mm -hmm. by the soil. Yeah. Yes, and then... These soil have a lot of bacteria. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. You see, this fruit is already rotting. Yeah. Mm. Because it it's was in contact the, with, with the, the soil. soil. Yeah. And there are a lot of bacteria, mm. a lot of fungi in this soil. Mm. So mulching will protect the, the fruit. fruit against mm. touching. Yeah. The, the, the soil. Some of these things, Moturi, you, you seem to, to be agreeing with yeah. <laughs> on the measures that you're meant to take. How come you've not done them yet? You know, sometimes we are very busy in the <laughs> Sometimes you forget. <laughs> uh, probably there, also. There is a time I do motion, all, uh, the, all the shaba. Okay. But this time, my, my head, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah. what, what are the options for mulching that, that Moturi can probably use? Because I'm sure there are many ways yeah. of mulching. Yeah. Uh, mulching, you can use uh, organic matter, mm -hmm. which is mainly grass, mm -hmm. maize stover, mm -hmm. uh, wheat straw, mm -hmm. uh, rice straws. Mm -hmm which you can put in between the beds. In fact, the mulching will do more than we just said. Mm -hmm. It will also protect the soil. You see where yeah. we're stepping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're already uh, compacting the soil. Yes. Oh. But if there was mulch, mm -hmm. then it will keep the soil a little less compacted. Yeah. Um, the other approach is to use a plastic mulch. Mm -hmm. It's very effective, mm -hmm. uh, which is normally put on the bed. Mm -hmm. After you have the beds are ready, you have yeah. fertilized, mm -hmm. then you punch holes, mm -hmm. In the, in the plastic mulch, mm -hmm. and then you put in your splits. Your splits, yes. That restricts weed emergence. It restricts light from getting into the soil, so the weed seeds do not germinate. Mm -hmm. uh, black mulch is the most popular. Mm -hmm. 
uh, normally used. Mm -hmm. the, main, the main problem is that you may not have tillery mm -hmm. uh, for, for later transplanting. Yes, for later transplanting. Yes. Because these stolons, what mm -hmm. Maturi is calling runners, mm -hmm. require soil mm -hmm. to re, mm -hmm. uh, re regenerate. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, at the nodes of every uh, at the nodes of every stolon, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, I don't see any. Uh, I need to show you this. So this is what we call a stolon, mm -hmm. which will give you new plants. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from the crown itself, the plants will also come from this crown. Okay. From around, if you look in the axis of the leaves, mm -hmm. we have uh, buds. Okay. This is one of them. That's yes. another one. You see that? Yes, yes, That's yes, a yes. bud. Yeah. That will give you a new plant. A new plant will emerge from here, another okay. one from here. And the roots will emerge from the base. Okay. Another uh, way of multiplying this mm -hmm. is uh, through this stolon. Mm -hmm. This stolon will grow out mm -hmm. and then give you nodes. Uh, the first node is sterile. Yes. That will not give you a bud. Okay. The second node mm -hmm. will give you a, a bud. Mm -hmm which will develop roots, Take grow you the soil, mm -hmm. and also give you a plantlet. Yeah, okay. And then it can give you another stolon uh -huh. beside. So these uh, fertile uh, buds mm -hmm. occur alternately. Okay. So you have this fertile, mm -hmm. no, no, uh, sterile, sterile, fertile, fertile sterile. sterile. Okay. And if you match with the, with the plastic, mm -hmm. then you will not have this advantage uh -huh. because then they will not target the soil. Okay. So they will not do what we call in hot culture layering, mm -hmm. Nat so natural layering. Yeah. After every crop, you need to come and uh, do repairing mm -hmm. or renovating okay. by yeah. removing all these dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I saw Muturi doing mm. some of yes. some of that. So they can produce yes. other foods. Yeah, mm. you need to mm. remove all these all because this these, these leaves mm -hmm. are now parasitic. They yeah. will infect the, they, no, the no. others. They, they are eating they are from eating, yeah. eating ah. from this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. They are now parasite. Mm. We have talked about pests and diseases. Mm. You need to take care of that. Mm. That's very important. Mm. Yeah. Particularly in this area, I don't know if Muturi has a. Uh, red spider mites. Uh, uh, do you have red spider mites? I've don't not have noticed here. any. We don't have it's a major pest. Red. And then beetles. Beetles. Yeah, there is beetles. Yes. They like eating the ripe one. Yes, yeah. they mm -hmm. eat uh, mm -hmm. the berries. Yeah. yeah. So you need to take care of that. Mm -hmm. uh, they also even eat the leaves. Yeah. There's a particular bug. We call the ligus bug. It will mm -hmm. eat the leaves. Mm -hmm. and give you the aborted flowers, some of the ones you are showing me earlier on. Mm -hmm. uh, snails. Snails. Will also eat the, the fruits. fruits. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, snails can be controlled manually. You can uh, walk around mm -hmm. and you, you see them, they are big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although some people use other means to control them. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Maturia may have a problem. Mm -hmm. with what, 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 about, what about birds? What about birds? I mean, berries are very, yeah, are very attractive. Yeah. You know, no, the, the berries yeah. know how to hide. They hide in the leaf other than yes, the yes. so that they cannot be seen by those birds. Yeah. yeah. So the berries yeah. see the birds coming yeah. and say, "Hi! It's <laughs> a bird! Hide. It's a plane! No, yeah. actually, it's a bird." <laughs> they hide themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. th yeah. that uh, that will leaves. work uh -huh. if you don't have very large uh, fruit stalks. Okay. Uh, you see, if you have a very long fruit stalk like this one here. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yes. Those fruits are the, the exposed. Fruits are, yes, oh, yes. They're exposed, yes. And once they change color, mm -hmm. that, the high bats will come. Yeah. There's one aspect that um, most of us, the growers and even the consumers mm. and even agents, mm. normally do not uh, take into consideration, and that's what we call the post harvest care. Mm. It's a major problem in this country. We mm. lose a lot of produce. Yes. Mm. In fact, we say, mm that the production is normally half the battle. Yes. Growing up to this stage mm. is half the battle. 50% mm. of the battle relies in, after this to the time you eat the berry. Yes, and not, from, not straight from here. Yeah, the not straight from here. Yeah. When I'm teaching my students, I always tell them to handle strawberries mm. the way you handled your date the first time. <laughs> you, you go out uh -huh. on a date the first day, mm -hmm. first time. Mm -hmm. You know, you're able to pull the chair and, you know, then you <laughs> enjoy your strawberry. Very important. Very, very important. important, yes. Yes. You have strawberry dates. Yeah. <laughs>
other aspects of care, I think we have, uh, yes, rotation. Rotation is very critical mm -hmm. in growing strawberry. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, after three years, four years, you need probably to move to another yeah, piece yeah. of land. Mm -hmm. uh, one question I've not asked Muturi is why he's growing uh, spinach, spinach together with the strawberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, there is those birds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, those birds <laughs> will prefer to eat spinach so that it can be fed quickly instead of <laughs> going for the fruits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's very important. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. You say, I've learned that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the professor has been taught. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. That. Yes. Probably uh, one, one other thing about uh, crop rotation. Um, are, are there types of crops that you would need to not plant where you are going to, to plant your strawberries back again? Yes. Mm -hmm. You need to avoid uh, land that has been under solanaceous crops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This goes for tomatoes, mm -hmm. potatoes. Mm -hmm. You know what you people call the Irish potato? Yes. But of course it's nothing like that. It's called the potato. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you need to avoid those. Why, why is that? Because these uh, crops uh, tend to share disease problems with, with strawberries. With strawberry. uh -huh. uh, diseases like the fusarium wilt, the mm. bacillium wilt. Mm -hmm. There is what they call root rot. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, met my Dutch exporter and I have gotten my splits. I have planted them. I have, uh, but before planting them, I have taken care of my my beds. I have uh, done everything that is necessary. Planted my splits. They have given me good good yield, and I have six guneas of my strawberries for a start. Now, miingiako matatu, niko hapo hapo tu Nairobi hapo tu or wherever that I might be heading to, where do I take my strawberries, other than feeding my people and myself, including myself, because I will eat most of those strawberries. My friend, you said the wrong food thing. Uh -huh. You don't get your strawberry, jam on a matatu, and go and sell in Nairobi. Uh -huh. You get the market before you grow your strawberries. Okay. Uh, because sometimes you may grow the strawberries and they will go to waste. Yes. Nobody will buy them from you. Yeah, just you are, them. Yes, either you are growing the wrong variety, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So you get to know your market, mm -hmm. what your uh, clients want. Mm -hmm. uh, are they for processing? Are they for uh, fresh uh, consumption? Mm -hmm. Before then you come and seek uh, and, and source the variety, mm -hmm. the planting materials. Mm -hmm. You grow. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, beforehand, you can even enter a contract mm -hmm. with the supermarket. Mm -hmm. There are many now who are selling this. Mm -hmm. uh, hotels, mm -hmm. uh, schools, mm -hmm. uh, food processing industries. Mm -hmm. We are now moving from uh, synthetic flavors mm -hmm. to natural flavors. Natural flavors yeah. So a lot of milkshakes, <coughs> a lot of alcoholic drinks. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. Jams. Jams, yeah. name it. Mm -hmm. uh, they are all now looking for this. Mm -hmm. The export market is also very big. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you know most of the temperate climates mm -hmm. don't grow these things around the year mm -hmm. so because of the six months of uh, extreme of cold winter. winter. Yeah. Uh, they put them in the greenhouse or in the plastic tents. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive to heat those. Uh, so they prefer, sometimes it's cheaper to import. Mm -hmm. So the export market is also very big. Mm -hmm. So the market is there, but you need to identify what you call a niche market mm -hmm. for yourself. Then you mm -hmm. can negotiate the price. Okay. Then you plan mm -hmm. the harvesting. Mm -hmm. You see, that, like now, Mturi told us there are many people who are now growing here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so you want to plan such that you beat them. So you have your crop when they don't have your crop. Mm -hmm. So then the, your, your, your price, mm -hmm. we call it a, you, you charge a prime price. Mm -hmm you make much more money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Th thank you very much. Thank Welcome. you very much. The very, very much, Dr. Adi. Thank and you. also thank you very much, Muturi. Okay. You have helped me learn yeah. and helped each other so, learn yes. in turn. So I'm sure with all this information from the, from the, from the, mm, from the lecturer from Egerton University, you'll be able to help your farm increase your yields yeah, my yield. and also, of course, make much more profit. Yeah, this course. is agribusiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is Seeds of Gold. Yeah. Let's go and uh, pack some uh, strawberries in some pallets and uh, yes. hopefully carry some to Nairobi. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. How will I know which ones to pack? You look the 
the right ones zile zimeiva sana eh, zile zimeiva kidogo ina kidonda unaangalia kama iko na kidonda usiweke ah. ikiwa na kidonda ah. okay. oh hizi ni zile hazijaiva hizi eh. zile zimeiva yeah. kabisa yeah. Yeah. So, ninaona ninaona zina zinawekwa na style hmm? yeah. siku yako tu hivyo <laughs> oh hivi unaweka isifinywe hivyo yeah. Okay, come in this hour. Yeah, just like that. From the journey that started off at 5.30 in the morning, this is what it has come down to. Right here at Mturi's farm. So far, we have 75 bunnets of strawberries already packed and we still have a lot more to pack. From the simple math of 50 shillings per bunnet, give or take, and we had to say sell 70 of them every single day, that's 3,500 shillings for the ones that are already packed. That's uh, every single day, every single morning, every week, every month throughout the year i'll leave you to do the math but i tell you these right here are the seeds of gold and this is seeds of gold <laughs>